Imagine with me a warthog. No, not that kind of warthog. A A-10 warthog. Wow. But what would this iconic airplane look like if it was built in World War II? Well, today I'll show you. And also some pretty awesome stunts and explosions. So yeah, just wait, cause it's gonna be a lot of fun. So for the building process, I'm gonna go fairly fast here, so try and keep up. But for those of you who don't wanna watch this entire build process, you can skip to the timestamps shown down below. So for the nose, I'm going to get the two by two by two wedge, a one by two wedge. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy it and flip it so that it is all uh, linked like that. Also, let's just put this in mirror mode. I'm gonna add this three by three by one corner piece, two three by one wedge pieces, one, two, three, four of of the four by three wedge pieces, a inverted corner here, and also copy another one on this side that is flipped, a three by one wedge here, a two by one here, copy it again and flip it so it fits here. And now I'm gonna put a two by one wedge here and also here. And now for the intake here, I'm just gonna add these little quarter pieces of a circle. And then I will go ahead and just build it back four. And just so everything's connected and we have a little more thrust, I'm going to put two thrusters in here. And to make sure that these are nice and covered and of course aesthetically pleasing, I'm gonna put a two by four wedge here. Now to finish off these little thrusters here or intakes, whatever you want to call these turbine looking things. I'm just going to add the little rounded bit. So uh, yeah, it just looks nice and flush. Whoops, I might need some form of uh, propeller here. There we go. So to taper off this tail, I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the front, add these little corner pieces. But to have it all kind of meet down towards the tail, I'm going to add these little one by fours. Then I'll fill in the gaps here and here. And then because we're going to add that iconic tail, I'm just going to put two little three by ones here then we'll do a two by four here copy another two by four and then put that one here and now we can actually add our small elevator fins here and here so to fill in these gaps I'm gonna do another three by one and then for the front half I'm gonna do a four by one and flip it so let's do a two by one a big wedge at the very bottom here a three by one a four by one wedge another small elevator fin and to give it that nice rounded top I'm gonna to add this rounded block and also this two by one now for the bottom half of the plane, I'm just going to copy this top half taper and copy it here. So to actually prolong this little wedge corner piece here, I'm going to add just another three by one wedge. And then to finish off the belly of the plane, I'm just going to add these little rounded two by fours going all the way down to the front. I will add a one by four, a two by one rounded bit here, and a rounded two by one corner here. And same thing with the front here to prolong the nose, I'm just going to add more three by ones. For the wings, I'm just going to add a 1x4 here, a piston here, and also a steering hinge on the end. So now we'll copy this 1x4 again, add a 4x1 wedge, a another 4x1 wedge. So let me go ahead and add an elevator fin here and here, and then copy both of those, but scoot them over so that uh, they're not connected. And now I'll just add a regular small wing here and also skip that space and put more here. So let's go ahead and select all this and basically just copy it on this side. Now, once we flip these and of course bring them down, I'm going to put a two by one in this little section here. And for more stability and more roll, I'm gonna put a small little elevator fin here. Now to cover up this nastiness, I'm just gonna put some shield pieces just like that. So you can see that these pistons will pull everything in by one. And uh, yeah, there'll be no gap here and it'll be nice and flush. Now to make these wings actually have the tilt like the real warthog, um, I'm just gonna put a little distance sensor on the inside here. I'm gonna put the distance to zero and of course invert it and connect it to each of the hinges here. Now make sure all the controls are off for these and you can also change the angle to whatever you want, but five seems right to me. So let's get out of mirror mode, add a one by two here and here, and also another one by two here and here. And now just add two by fours going all the way back. So I'm gonna add two pistons in here, just like that. And then I will add this mini gun on here, just like the real Warthog. Now, of course, set these to zero so it actually pulls it all the way in. And then put a two by one here. Paint all of this glass by going here and then paint it black so it's a little bit more clear. And now I'm actually gonna put this back in mirror mode. And just to kind of show you guys how I do these decals, I'm gonna do this very fast, but uh, yeah. I grab a square and because this thing is going to be painted green, I'm going to go like that 
and uh, basically just grow it to where it's kind of level with the pistons so that no one can really see it. And because we are in mirror mode, it actually copies it on both sides. Now, don't forget to uh, put a bar of green going across the front here. So we'll actually grab these two and move them forward just so that we can put them back. I'll go ahead and change these back to normal and make this one glass. And then to add that nice little line going upwards, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna get a green block, tilt it a little bit, and kind of just try and line it up the best I can. It does look a little goofy just because the rest of the plane isn't green, but you guys get the idea. So let me add this seat in here. Of course, it's just one. But I think if I add this guy right here, uh, yeah, it's actually flush with the bottom. That's nice. So now we can get out of mirror mode because there's not really a point anymore. So I like adding gyros inside of my flyers now just because it makes the roll just way faster and way more consistent. But of course, you don't need to add one of these guys in there if you don't want to. Now, the only thing I need to do is add these thrusters. Um, these are the most most efficient with the speed in comparison to its size. So if you add two in there like that, then just add a bunch of grid blocks going all the way down like so. And continuously just going all the way down the aircraft until it's all full. You'll see here that it all fits perfect. Now I'm going to cover up this whole bottom half um, just because I want it to look pretty, of course. Well, I will be right back once I'm done painting this thing up. We will start diving straight into the action. I am back and as you guys see, my goodness, does this paint job look so good on this thing. Now let's go ahead and do a roll and a little bit of a dive and let's go straight for the tunnel. Now uh, I, I really didn't prepare for this, I just dove straight into the stunts, but okay. Eee, that was close. But yeah, man, this paint job looks super nice, super clean. It definitely looks a little bit like a warthog, I'd say. But uh, yeah, the paint job just kind of throws it off. Now, I gave it that kind of interesting sharp nose. Of course, it's not like the exact iconic kind of warthog shape when it comes to, uh, you know, being a little bit rounded and a little bit pointed in the front. This is a very drastic change, at least for when it comes to the nose. Everything else, like the whole layout, definitely still kind of looks like a warthog. So I actually activated this modded map over here, and I have not one, not two, but a total of five bad guys on this island. And uh, surprise, surprise, they're all full of TNT. So I already see a target right down here. We're gonna need to do a quick, fast boom and zoom. Here we go. Line up that shot. Line up that shot. Oh my gosh, we got some shots on him, but I didn't hit any of the TNT. All right, well, I had my HUD off that entire time, so it wasn't even locking onto this guy, but come on, here we go. Good lineup, good lineup. Oh my gosh, that tank almost hit us. All right, one out of five is down. We need to find the other four. I know I placed them down, but uh, they kept exploding, so it, I don't really remember, but here's one. Here's one more. Come on, come on, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Alright, I actually see two targets below me. One is kind of stranded in the desert, and the other one is here on this mountain. But come on, I think the mountain one's gonna be easy. Yes! Look at the, look at the pieces! Oh my gosh! Well, I was definitely right when I was saying that uh, the mountain was a lot easier. Alright, here we go, lining up our shot with this target that is dead center of this desert here. And, oh, no, nothing! Nothing at all. We got some hits, but, uh, oh, look, there's another one right there. Very nice. Okay, cool. We're, uh, we're gonna line up our shot to be able to try and line up for both of them. Um, I, I think that it'll be good because, you know, we'll, we'll kind of already be low to the ground enough to hit one and then hit the other right after. So here we go. Oh, there's one. There's one. Come on. Come on. One more. One more. And... I'm always so scared it's gonna explode right as I fly over it. All right, lining up the shot again. Here we go. This is a perfect lineup. And start shooting. Start shooting. Yeah, dude, that was so sweet. Wait, what? Was that? Was that already five? I'm so confused. I swear there was more. I, I thought I only shot four there. Okay, let me know if I missed one, cause uh, I, I don't. I literally don't see anything. Well, either way, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Of course, as always, I had so much fun, and my gosh, flying through these rocks is uh, very cool. But as always, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.